What's going on you guys? Julian here, Bite to Bait Fishing, doing a little barbecue behind, preparing a little lunch. Beautiful weather here in South Florida today. We got back from an awesome saltwater inshore fishing trip off of land. Link to that video will be in the description, but we're going to do a little catch and cook today. I got some really nice fish on the ice bucket right now. We're going to put them on the fillet table. I'm going to bring you that. I'm going to go ahead and clean them up real nice, and then we're going to meet you guys later on in the kitchen for dinner. And we're going to prepare these guys up and do a nice little recipe for you. Stay tuned. It's going to be a fun little video. All right, you guys, so got the barbecue all fired up, smoking up, getting nice and hot. Gonna do a little churrasco and corn on the cob a la grill. But right now we're gonna get into this catch and cook. We got some sea trout and we got some mangrove snapper on the menu tonight. Gonna go ahead and fillet them all up. So let's get into the cleaning and then we'll cycle through the video. Enjoy. Take a look at this sea trout right here. Oh yeah. Super cold. Had them on a real chilly, chilly ice bath. Not to mention, it's 49 degrees outside. So it's pretty cold, but got my grill keeping me warm. I got my tiki torches on, keeping away all the bugs. It's chilling out here, guys. We're having some fun. Hope you guys are enjoying that video. If you're new to Bite the Bait, make sure to hit that subscribe button and go ahead and like this video. All right, so got our knives. So the first and very important step to do is to go ahead and get it sharpened down. You don't want a dull knife. You want a really sharp blade. Sea trout especially have a very, very silky skin texture to them, so you want to be a little bit careful, have a really sharp blade, and make it a little bit easier on yourself to go ahead and clean them. Oh yeah, looking really clean already from what I can see. Filet off the top portion of the sea trout. Let's go ahead and cut out that little piece of rib cage that we got in there. Don't want to be picking through the ribs. It also has some some veining to it as well. Take a look at that. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Damn. All right, got the skin off of it. Nice, nice fillet. Gonna go ahead and put it on back on the ice. No, Skyler, move it. This fillet, it's so easy to fillet it. The tough part is getting the skin off of it, but you could even cook this fish. Like, let's say you wanted to grill it on a barbecue, get it real hot, and you could actually cook it on the skin itself and eat it like a little bowl. I have a couple friends that actually do that. But uh, you could also clean that off, sharp knife, go right through it, glide it. Might take a couple chops, but you'll get it nice and cleaned up and still have a ton of meat to, uh, to mess with later on. Bird dog, get inside. Get inside. See raw fish? I mean, it was clean. It didn't have anything in it. It was clean as fuck, but still, she fucking ate it. Okay. So, I just caught my dog. She ate the first piece of the sea trout that I finished filleting. Now, I know it's pretty fresh. I don't know if that's safe for a pet to eat, but it was actually a piece even better filleted than this last one that I put in there. I looked down when I go to put this in, and the other fillet is gone. I heard her eating up the ice, and I was like, why is she eating this ice? She actually ate the filet out of the ice bucket. Man, I am pissed off right now at this dog. All right, so we got our churrasco in the grill. After that little mishap with the dog eating the filet, we're gonna get back to it. We've got another sea trout sitting here on the table. We're gonna clean him up, we're gonna clean up the mangrove snapper, and then we're gonna keep on barbecuing and catch you guys in the kitchen. That looks tasty, man. Got a nice skirt steak, seasoned up real good. Got a little uh, Montreal steak seasoning on it. Got some sea salt, we got some pepper on it. We got some butter on the corner of the cob, some sea salt on it. We got it, the tips wrapped in, in aluminum foil. Cooks it up real good inside and it's delicious with a fresh steak right from the market on the grill love this little thing but uh got on the charcoal I'm gonna let it start to heat up i'm gonna get back to the video this guy is ice cold this weather honestly it just allows you to get a really good grip on the fish boom solid solid mangrove snapper another solid ice cold mangrove snapper fillet going on the ice Boom, all that's left is that carcass. I know a lot of you guys like to eat the head. I don't I don't like soup, not a really big fan of it, but I do see some of the leftover meat, but I'm not one to pick out any of that. Take advantage of the fillets, clean them up real nice, season them up, absolutely delicious. Like I said earlier, one of my favorite, favorite fish to eat out of the ocean. All right, lunch is ready. 
Got our steak ready. Got our corn on the cob. We're gonna go have some lunch. Hope you guys enjoyed the first portion of the video. We'll catch you guys in the second portion when we go ahead and we cook up the fresh caught fish from today. Welcome back to the second portion of today's video. Now we're gonna do the cooking portion. We're gonna be in the kitchen today, Yasmin and myself. We're gonna be doing a spicy sea trout recipe that she found on Google. So you can Google search this. We'll put Pinterest. the- Pinterest. Oh, Pinterest. <laughs> I was gonna say, we'll put the link in the description. I don't know if we could do that with Pinterest, but if we can, we'll put a link in the description to the recipe that we're gonna be cooking today. We got the sea trout on ice. All right, so we're almost ready now to go ahead and put the sea trout in the oven, but first, we're gonna go over the ingredients that we need to do this bake. So you're gonna need some melted butter, you're gonna need some Cajun seasoning, some salt, some diced onions, some lemon juice, some parsley, a pan, and your sea trout. Let's get this party started. All right, so let's prepare the meal. Okay. Okay, so first we're gonna put the melted butter, at least half of it, in the bottom. Mmm, delicious. And then we're just gonna add Cajun seasoning. Throw some onions in there. Mmm. Tango hambre. Okay. Um, and then, get this out of ice. Where's my lemon? Hold on, let me get this out of ice. So now we're gonna add some of our lemon juice to the fish. Make sure it comes out nice and zesty. The fillets in your pan like this. Okay. No, so now after you um, drench your sea trout in some lemon juice, you are just gonna lay it down in your pan so it looks something like this. Um, we then we're gonna add some more Cajun on the fish. This is gonna be spicy! Okay, so then we're gonna add some more Cajun seasoning and on top. Yummy. <laughs> Heart attack. Looks super healthy. It does. <laughs> okay. But I'm sure it'll taste really good. We're missing the parsley and the Morton's salt. Okay, so we're just gonna add. That's some looking more. really delicious right really there. Is. Some more onions. Not the onions, but everything else looks real tasty. The onions look to give it flavor. So now we're gonna add just a pinch of salt. Not too much. Just a pinch. Okay. And. Now we're just gonna top it off with some dry parsley, but if y'all wanna be fancy and just chop it up yourselves, go ahead. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> okay, so then we preheated our oven. Yep, already preheated the oven. Yes, preheated the oven. 350, 350 degrees. Got it. All ready to go. Look Everything is in the pan looks. in aluminum mm. foil, looking delicious. Really nice little meal, easy to do at home, not too many ingredients necessary. Nope. All you need is your oven, a pan, some aluminum foil, and those very simple, probably household ingredients that everybody usually has yeah. in stock. So preheat your oven, and then... Now, stick the sucker in there. That's gonna bake for about 20 minutes. Time for an update. We're gonna go take a look inside of the oven and see how our sea trout's coming out. Ooh. Looking pretty good. What do you think? A few more minutes and it's ready? Five more minutes. Yeah, it looks pretty cooked. Looks good. It's looking tasty. Nice and nice and warm. What do you think? Yes. What it's are you thinking? really good. I think the butter, like once it cooks, the butter is just gonna it's gonna suck it all in and it's gonna taste good. It's gonna taste good. Let's see if it's gonna taste any good. We just finished having some snapper off the camera. That was really good. So we'll be able to kind of get a good judge of how good sea trout really is. Haven't had it in a long time. Last time I had it, it was fried and I didn't really like it too much. So I'm kind of on the fence of how this is gonna be, but the recipe looks good. It looks really good in the Spicy, oven. Spicy, buttery. Spicy, buttery is pretty good. I like both of those, so mm -hmm. we'll see. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited. Catch you guys in a few minutes. All right, so it's time to go ahead and taste the sea trout. We are super excited. Hope you guys are as excited as we are. Leave some comments below. Tell us what you think. Suggest some future catch and cook videos. Maybe your own recipe. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take it out and taste this bad boy. Mmm. It's looking nice and tasty. So buttery. 
Kind of coming out. Got our sea trout going on the plate. It's looking nice and juicy. Butter on it. So take a look at that. Looks nice and delicious. You got the steam coming off the plate. Looks nice and spicy. We're gonna go ahead and taste it now for you guys and tell you what we think. What do you think? Doesn't really taste like much. No. For having so much butter and being so spicy? I, I feel like it tastes like butter, almost. Like I almost, like the last time I had sea trout, I was kind of the same thing, I just wasn't totally into it. I mean, it's not bad, it's a white, it's a white colored meat fish. As you guys can see, it's very white, nice and flakely. It's not, it's nice and flaky, it's not too mushy. Well, uh, I've never had sea trout. To me, I was gonna say, I was gonna contradict what you said. To this bite's a little mushy. bit better. It's a little mushy? Really? I personally, did. I have never had it before. I don't like the texture of it. You don't like the texture? I prefer the, the drum that was like a thicker, yeah, no, the drum was a Harder. much more solid fish. That drum was delicious. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. We'll probably put it somewhere up here on the top of the screen where you guys can click on it if you want after the video or take a look. But that drum was really good. We came up with a really good recipe for it. Mm. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I kind of get what she's saying now. It is a little soft. It's not as firm as like a snapper or the drum. Yeah, there isn't a lot of flavor. The snapper. Right, we just had the snapper. The snapper was really good. We like and I barely tore did it up anything like to it. Yeah, well, she just pan seared it. And it had flavor. Like this is very bland. And this has been cooking for like 25 minutes in the pan and with it has the butter. Like Asian seasoning, onions, butter. I feel like I should taste something. Yeah. And now I know a lot of guys, a lot of people like sea trout. Tell us your experience about the sea trout. Tell us what you guys think about it. If you like it, if you don't like it. Should we make it differently? Yeah, if you guys have a better idea of how to make it, because it is a fish that I have a lot of access to inshore when I go saltwater fishing. Most times I throw them back, but occasionally I like to bring something home for the wife, for myself, for the family. But so far, I haven't had the best experiences oh. eating this fish. Oh, a really big bone. Uh oh. Oh. On the spine? Mm hmm. I don't know. I really. To be honest, I'm not really digging it that much. I, no, me neither. And I don't think it's a recipe. I think we cooked it good. The, the ingredients in the recipe are good ingredients. Minus the onions. I'm not a huge fan of onions. And I kind of, I'm kind of tasting them in the back of my mouth as I, as I bite the, <clears throat> the filet. I don't know. I'm just not sold on the sea trial yet. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said earlier, leave us some comments. Tell us what you think. If you're new to Bite the Bait Fishing, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like. Anything else you want to add to it? Uh, yeah, let us know if you have a different recipe. I don't want to just give up on the fish. I would like to try it again, maybe a different way. Um, maybe a you know, different flavor, maybe with like mango, something sweeter. I don't know, but let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Leave him a comment and I'm sure he'll share it with me so we can try it again. Sounds good guys. That's going to do it for us today. Want to end the video for us? <laughs> you want to do it again? <laughs> you want to do the, the finish again? See you guys next time by the Bay Fishing.